Welcome to 7Pace Time Tracker. We've put together a few tips to help you start using our app from a developer perspective. Let's get started. As a dev, you probably start your day within DevOps boards. 7Pace Time Tracker makes keeping track of your time in boards easy because you never have to leave your environment. You can find the Start Tracking button on any of the backlog pages in the Work Item Context menu. You'll also find it in the Work Item form itself. The 7 Pace Time Tracker tab has also been added. Check out the total time spent by you and your team on a task as well as all child tasks. You can see your individual pace, remaining time, and decreasing burndown. The end result is better estimation and improved time management. You can add time right from the task, fill in what you need, and save. Let's take a look at adding time on a monthly or weekly basis. The Monthly Page The Monthly Pages calendar interface lets you enter time, track, and maintain your work efforts. There are two ways to add time here. Either click the plus icon on a day, or use the Add Time button. You can easily navigate to different months and years, view time entered by day, week, and month, or check out the work log details of a particular day. You can even submit time to your manager. Now, let's check out the Timesheet page. The Timesheet page acts like your weekly assistant. You can fill the timesheet with just your work items, and blue cells make it even easier to see the items that are in progress and assigned to you. The whole tool is keyboard optimized, so when you start typing, it feels just like a spreadsheet. You can click Add Time to add an entry from scratch, or you can open the list editor on a cell which allows you to add a single or multiple time records. Now you have a whole spreadsheet for a single task on a single day. And if necessary, you can also submit your time to your manager. Now that that's taken care of, let's move on to the Times Explorer page. The Times Explorer page acts as a central toolbox for maintaining all your work logs in a way that makes the most sense for you. You can choose exactly which columns you want to see on the page. And you can group your data in a more concise but in-depth way. To create a group, look for this icon in the top right corner of a column header. If you click on it, it becomes the top-level group. Every grouping clicked after that displays one level underneath, giving you a great snapshot of just the data you want to see. Then, save it as a layout so you'll always have that custom report right at your fingertips. To save time, select work logs in bulk to either delete them, change their activity types, add time, or import and export your time. Now that you have the basics, you're ready to jump in and start tracking your time in Azure DevOps.